Hello, it's me, Kim Alex. This is the second day of being Providence Day School's video starlet. And actually, I have to tell you that I know you must be noticing my wonderful sound catcher. That's the name of the activity sheet that I sent home for you to do. I don't know if you have made your own sound catcher yet. I probably should take my starlet glasses off. Um, but I love them so much. Anyway. This is just what my sound catchers look like because I decided that those people on the lab sheet, let me get down to business here, okay? I gotta put my glasses on for this. Those people, oh, be careful, darling. Those people on the lab sheet, I've got a picture of them right here. This man, he's on your lab sheet. I have never in my life seen anything as magnificent as those sound catchers. I bet they work really well. What about you? Thumbs up if you think so. Thumbs down if you don't think so. And then, don't even, don't even ask me what these things are. I mean, they're big and long and then there's that little tube going to that man's ears but i'm sure they work because it's the same principle you know something to catch a sound wave and then uh channel that sound wave down to your ears where your eardrum is okay and anyway um I thought to myself, you know, those guys, they don't have anything on me. I can make a magnificent sound catcher just like them. And so this is what I came up with. Um, if I would love to see you make a sound catcher like mine or your own, actually, not like mine at all, but your own um, because we're all individuals and we should all, you know, be true to ourselves. Um, so I know you're probably thinking, well, this this side doesn't even touch your ear. What's up with that? Well, I, it was, you know, using the tape and getting it just right. Um, I ended up with one side of the vortex uh, on my ear, and the other side um, is just a secondary one in case I need it. Then I can just kind of take this off and use that and plug it right up to my ear. But um, and then I was wondering too, well, I wonder if I, if, I, if I could talk this way and make my sound waves go like into that, into that side and up and around if I would hear myself better. I, I think I need a little bit more work on that though. But anyway, I'm going to take this off for now. That baby is like intense. I hope you don't mind that my hair is all messed up, but science is messy. Um, I have to tell you something before we begin. You know, um, I'm an adult, obviously, and um, a lot of times people don't think adults get nervous or uh, are afraid to do something or just because they're afraid that, that, um, that they can't do it. So I was asked, to make videos of the labs that I had written. And I thought, oh my goodness, there's no way I can do that. I just like can't do that. Um, and you remember the power of yet? That's what I was forgetting to say. I should have said, I can't do that yet. Because yesterday I did two videos that I know they're kind of you know, they're not polished, and but they are funny, and I get the job done. So I felt so proud of myself for being able to do that. I just 
wanted you to know that in case there's ever a time in your life when you're like afraid to do something because you think you're going to fail at it and you don't even get it give it a chance you just push it out of your mind so anyway let's get started on our lab okay um you're going to make a sound catcher and you should know by now that sounds when you hear anything that that is a V word, V, V, anybody, anybody? This is not the peace sign, it's a V word, V word, V, 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 V. Three syllables, three syllables, vibration. Sound is made of vibrations, or vibrations make sounds. And it's, it's actually that sound wave that travels like this through the air has to be going through something. And in our case, it's when we're talking, it's through the air. And you remember your vocal cords and the air is coming from your lungs through your windpipe and passes over your vocal cords and they're vibrating, okay? We're all cool on that. So today, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use tape, scissors, and paper. Um, and this, the stiffer the paper, the better. Um, but if you've just got like uh, notebook paper or copy paper, that's fine too. Okay, so uh, this was all I had. It, it's like an index folder, but it works fine. And I liked it because it was red. So you can also decorate the outside of yours if you'd like. Um, and I have to remember that that it's hard to see what I'm doing on this screen. So anyway, what you do, and you might need an adult to help you, but you may not. You might, you might be able to do this yourself. You start in one corner and you start rolling it in. Rolling, rolling, rolling. There we go. Keep those doggies rolling. Now mine is awfully skinny, okay? So it's not gonna catch a lot of sound waves. And since that's the goal, I'm gonna just hold it right here and let it unwind a little bit and get a little bit bigger, okay? And then I'm gonna twist it more because I want it to be going over my ear like that, okay? And mine needs to be a little smaller. I would suggest you have your tape handy this is really not a hard, hard activity. It's pretty easy. There's no reason why anybody can't do this. And then you tear a piece of tape off, and I'm taping it down right there. And does it have to be perfect? No, of course not. Because we're not machines, and only machines can make things perfectly and the same every single time. So... Just tape it. I would make sure I did tape this whole seam down, that whole side, because see how that's kind of sticking up a bit? Okie dokie. And you know how tape is. Tape is like, oh, come on tape, don't get tangled on me there. So then you just tape that and mine is like not, truly not like a vortex, but it's good enough. Um, you stick it up to your ear and you listen for any kind of sounds that you can hear. All right. Because this catches, go like this with your hands. Well, my glasses are falling off. You go like this with your ear with your hands to your ears. You're making your ears bigger. And so when somebody talks next to you, then um, the sound will be louder. So give that a try too, okay? And what I'd like for you to do is just kind of listen to all the sounds you can hear in your house and just be quiet. Can you hear the sounds in my house? Try your sound catcher. Ooh, 
I can hear the pipes under the floor. That's amazing. I wonder what, what they're doing. Like what's going through them? Maybe water to the sink and stuff? I think I hear my dog Winslow breathing. That's pretty cool. He does breathe kind of loudly though. Anyway, that's how you make your sound catcher. You, you collect the sound waves and they go in your ear. They hit your eardrum and they vibrate on your eardrum. And then your eardrum sends that um, vibration to your brain. Well, there are other parts in your ear that actually do all of that stuff, but this is the short version. And your brain sort of figures out what those vibrations, what those vibrations mean and tells you what somebody is saying or what you're hearing, if that's a dog barking or is that a bird chirping? So that is all there is to it. And don't forget, don't, don't forget that you can do anything if you try because you are magnificent. And so, okay, there we go. <laughs> ah, try talking with your sound catcher on. When I said, there we go, I could hear that really, really, really well. Oh, and here's my project, my Thing to keep it on my head and I'm going to put my Providence Day School video starlet glasses on. Now y'all have a nice day and I'll see you again soon. Bye!